Hey guys, welcome to Tampa Bay Diving. My name is Blake, and today I'm gonna to give you some helpful information on the process of getting scuba certified. So you want to learn how to scuba dive, but not quite sure where to begin or what the process entails? No worries, it's videos for you. By far the topic that I discuss the most with potential students is the process of becoming open water certified, which is the entry level certification course in diving. Most people want to know what they will need to do, what they are going to learn, and more importantly, how long is this process going to take? But stick around till the end because I'm going to give you a bonus tip that I give to all of my students. While not all shops and instructors do everything the exact same way, I wanted to give you, the viewers, a general idea of the process. Keep in mind, I teach SDI courses and I also teach one-on-one -on -one with my students. Having said that, when a new student comes to me and wants to learn how to dive, I give them the SDI medical questionnaire form first and foremost. Now, this form is to be filled out and reviewed with your physician. And what it covers is a general medical history and any underlying conditions that may need approval before you can begin diving. I'm not a medical doctor, so I don't even pretend to have that knowledge. Now, I also give my students a copy of the course standards so they have it in writing, what they will have to do as far as skills and what they can expect to learn. One of the things that I love about international training, which is the parent company to SDI, TDI, ERDI, and PFI, is that they make all of their course standards available online. So the students can go there and grab that and read it ahead of time to get a jump on the course. So since I teach one-on-one, -on -one, I plan the course around the student schedule. If you go to a dive shop, you're more than likely gonna have to go off of their predetermined schedule, unless you're taking a private course with them. Now, what you'll do is you'll complete the online e-learning first, and then we'll go over what you may have missed, and I'll provide you with some supplemental information. Now we're ready to get into the water. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pool day. So to start off, you'll have to do a survival float, and then you'll have to do either a 200 meter swim without mass snorkel fins, or a 300 meter swim with mass snorkel and fins. Either one you choose, it has to be done nonstop. So after that, we'll get into skills such as breathing, mass clearing, buoyancy, and all the others that are required in the course. Now, because I'm an independent instructor and I'm one-on-one -on -one with one student, I have that student do each skill multiple times to help develop that muscle memory. So that when it becomes time to actually use that skill, they'll be comfortable in executing it. So the last two days are your open water checkup guys. And this is where it's time to show your instructor that you can perform all the skills they showed you in the pool session. And once you can do that in a safe and satisfactory manner, you'll be open water certified. So you ask, what does that mean? Well, now you'll be able to get on dive charters and get tanks filled, all the things that dive operators won't let you do without showing a C card or a certification card. Now, just as I promised, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip and here it is. If it's within your budget, Ask about taking your Nitrox course with your open water course. Most agencies will allow their instructors to teach Nitrox in conjunction with open water, and it could save you a little bit of money as well. I myself personally cut the cost of the Nitrox course when a student opts to take them together. Guys, it's been great getting to speak with you today about open water certification. I wanna thank each and every single one of you for joining me. If you found this video valuable, hit the like button down below. And if you'd like more scuba content, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, leave us a comment down below and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future. I'll be back next week with another video, but until then, plan your dive and dive your plan.